mostly recutting this in low lights for a reason. The um, what I find interesting is that as a director, you must tell a compelling piece of cinema and to make a film in a week requires discipline, some level of professionalism, great planning, a good storyline, and some great filmmakers around you. But in absence of these things, what you need is a will to get it done. And so I think that when you think about 90 minutes of a film, this means in industry levels, it means 90 pages of script. But I wouldn't bother myself so much with those things because they're technical things, the things that have um, a technical outlook. What matters is not so much the technical aspect of making a film and the idea of having a product. What matters is that you finish the product. What matters is that you complete the project. And to do that requires that you know how to solve problems. At every stage of the filmmaking process, you will have problems. You would have to make a decision and run with it. So let's say, for example, that you want to make a love story. Boy meets girl at a bookstore, falls in love with her, then they break up, she leaves town, and then they meet again on a train and they decide they won't try one more time. This is a very simple story. It's boy meets girl in a bookstore. They connect, they fall in love. And then something happens and they break up and they go their separate ways. Maybe about six months later, they meet each other on a train station and they happen to be going the same direction. And on that train ride, they decide to try again and get back together. With a story like this, you need two characters. You need two characters. Sometimes you might have to play the character. And other times you might have to cast the film. When you cast the film, you gotta find a small casting agency, a small act casting app. Right, and when you get that app, you begin to find your leading man and leading lady. That's a huge part of it. You gotta rehearse them. Get them into the material as quickly as possible, right? Give them everything they need to really connect with each other. But as you cast these characters, you must make sure that they fit, that there's no hangups, they don't feel weird around each other. You have to make sure you sort that out way before you run camera. Before you roll camera on anything, that part of it has to be sorted out. You must be sure that these two people can do something magical on screen. In fact, someone defined that when you put a man and a woman on screen, that's cinema, right? So you must know how to get that going. That's the most difficult part. If you can get them to like each other and be in, in the mood to get this done, then the script is the next thing. Their understanding of the material, as they understand the material, when it comes to lights, camera, DPs, editing, post-production, all that stuff, coloring, that's later, that's, 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 that's cakewalk, right? The main thing is getting the art right, making sure the actors mm -hmm. can do justice to the script, making sure the script is turned over a million times to really break down all the nuances in the script. And once you get that together, when that can be done well, that's cinema. Everything else is noise. 
when you do your job correctly behind the scene, it shows on the screen. Let me say that again. When you do your job well behind the scenes, it shows on the screen. When you do pre-production well, it shows up well in production. When you do production well, it shows up great in post-production. So you can't make a film in seven days, right? From concept, inception, to execution, you can do it in seven days. What do you have in seven days? You can have all the shit and done in four days. All the shit and done in four days. You can begin to edit and have a rough draft in two days. But before that, you must understand your material, understand the script, digest it in your system as a director and a producer. You must understand every aspect of the script. In other words, you gotta see every screen, every frame, every shot of this film. You should already have in your mind before you start your seven day countdown. And then what will happen is, if you come in with that energy, your actors and actresses and DPs and everyone assistant director, everyone behind the scenes, producers, they'll jump on your case because they know you're on the ball. Once you're strong and your eyes are on the prize, you'll get it done. It's gonna be difficult to get it done, but you're counting down to seven days. Spend four days shooting so you get the material locked out. At its best quality, its best emotion, best you know tension, best conflict, all of that, you gotta get it in four days. The fifth day, you begin editing for a quick draft. Get the music soundtrack, because the emotion has to come in around the sixth day. On the seventh day, you're ready to go to print. You know, so it's very possible to do, but it's not easy to do because there are many forces that are against you. There are many people that will be against you because they haven't done a film in seven days. I had done filming less time than that and released it. So it's not just making the film, owning the rights to everything that happened, but then releasing it to distribution and making sure that you get monetized. You have to make some money for what you do, right? Or at least be able to sell that intellectual property to the next man. So how do you do it to film in seven days? You need one. A good story to tell. A good script. You find your leading men and leading women to make sure they can bring the magic to the screen. No matter what, they must be bonded, strong with you. So it's leading man, leading woman, camera. These three things gotta come together and crush each other. And then the third thing is that you must know that work must be put into production. You must go to work. You must shoot, 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 shoot. You gotta shoot, 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 shoot. You gotta shoot as much as you can. Shoot everything. And take the editor and say, listen, begin to give me, I want a rough cut in 24 hours. Give me a rough cut of this film. From that, you bring it into the room and everybody could size it. Then you get to your final cut. You start the music on there. You're ready for every other platform there is. It's possible to tell it before. And what happens when you get that one out of your system, you find that things like this would happen to you all the time. I mean, most films in, in West Africa are done in Nigeria and Ghana. These films are made very quickly. In Japan, films are made extremely fast. China, same thing, right? So we in Hollywood, we have to kind of like know that it doesn't matter how big your film is. If people don't like it, does not have a heart to it, it might be a flop at the box office. Netflix may have it, but not. Many people want to see it. So it's any man that's big, any film that's big can come down to zero. And any man that's negligible, just completely mediocre, can rise to fame and greatness. There's no bar anymore. And that's what makes it a great time to be here doing what we do. Well, thank you once again. Greatly appreciate your time here. Um, I do talk about film, relationships, lifestyle. Um, thank you for joining me. And have a great night. I'm out.